I actually wanted to join the Navy after seeing The Cruel Sea. I think The Cruel Sea is the greatest British war film ever made. This black and white British belter is the story of the Compass Rose, a support vessel which spends the Second World War dodging deadly German U-boats as it tries to protect merchant ships traveling across the Atlantic. Released in 1953, The Cruel Sea was a massive box office hit and made a star of its leading man, Jack Hawkins. Bridge depth charge! Hawkins in this film is a man who you would believe in, who you would follow, who you would obey. It's impossible to think of anybody playing that part better. Crack it on engine room. There's a U-boat on the surface dead ahead. There were also early roles for Donald Sindon and a young actress who was to become one of Britain's best-loved stars. My part was with dear Donald and uh, having my first green kiss, which I was hugely nervous about. And he was terribly kind and nice about it all. Next time I'm back, let's get away into the country. Forget about the war. The key scene in the film, and uh, in my estimation, the key scene in the whole genre of post-war British war films is when Jack Hawkins has to decide whether he's going to let a U-boat that he thinks is under his ship get away. What's it look like, number one? Submarines, at. Can't be anything else. Or he is going to drop depth charges and kill a large number of men from a merchant vessel who are in the water. Stand by. Stand by. Fire one. The men on the ship can't believe it. And one of them cries out to Hawkins. Bloody murderer! I think it's the first time that the B word had been used in a British film. But no other, no other phrase was possible. He loses lives to save further lives. That was the logical decision. But he is doomed to be haunted with that. No one murdered them. It's the war. The whole bloody war. It's so powerful when a man cries. And the character that he played probably never would have wanted to be vulnerable and weak, but... It was overwhelming, wasn't it? He had no option, and you just felt so sorry for him. He's devastated that he's had to do this, but that's what leadership is about. You have to take decisions like that, and they're seldom easy. We've just got to do these things and say our prayers at the end. <laughs> 